how's it been for you since you arrived? That's two months now, isn't it? That's two months. It is, David. I, it's, it's good. Again, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Right. And it is, it's fun. Again, the training is better. Again, it was, to be fair, I'm, I come out for an environment back home where I was training mm -hmm. twice a week and playing a game on a Sunday to training every day. So I'm feeling fat. I, I, got, I had a bit of a shock, to be fair. I stepped on the scales the other week and I was a, a few pounds over what I had been. But, it's, it's muscle we are saying it's going to the amount of training we're doing. So it's not cheeseburgers, it's, no, it's, it's, it's the not, muscle. It's not pizza and fast food, it's <laughs> muscle, so I like to do all that. And so you flew into what, Cleveland? Flew into, I flew from Edinburgh to New York, New York and New York, and then flew from there to Cleveland. Into Cleveland. Yeah, and what was that like, that first that first 24 hours? Oh, you? To be fair, it was, it was a mixture, it was like terrifying and I don't know how to explain it, I was, I was terrified. You flew in yourself, didn't you? Nah, I yep. was normal. I was meant to fly with another Scottish guy, but he ended up flying a wee bit lighter than me. But, uh, I, what did you do on your first night? Uh, I stayed with a guy that used to play here. Uh, he just he graduated, Jacob Child, he graduated right. last year. And he was a left back, a good player. Yep. So I heard that he was a good player. Uh, and he kind of helped me out. He picked me up at the airport and that. And, and he, he looked after me for a couple of days until the coaches came there. I was over a week before it was meant to be, so sure. he just looked after yeah. us, it was fun. Just hung out? Aye, yeah. just you know, playing the Did that give you a chance to go and have a look at the, 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 the uh, place, the area, the, the town and stuff? Aye, uh, well, he showed me around, he was, he, he was kind of street smart, I mean, he's done the full, he's done the full ship planning before I'm here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, but, uh, so he was fine. He what was, was your fun. first impression, is it the, the local area, the town? Different to back home? Oh, definitely different, I mean, like, the first thing I noticed, like, it sounds funny, but there was no water anywhere, it was like, and it was hot, I was, Running about in shorts and t-shirt and a pair of plums, so so I'm delighted to do that. <laughs> and, uh, Fantastic. Ah, it was good, but like, it's getting a wee bit chiller now to be fair, but it's, it's probably better for myself because like, I wasn't used to playing in the heat, so mm -hmm. I found that that was challenging for me. Like just different. I mean, you, like you can be as fit as you walk back home, you come here and it's a, it's a different level. Well, it's you were one of the fittest home. boys in your team, ah, probably yeah. in the league back home. Ah, um, was fun. How was what was your first? Pre-season, what did they do when you first oh, started? Yeah, we, we got here. And it's kind of they gave us a, a beat test to start me. <coughs> Sorry, they gave us a beat test, and uh, I was actually I was in eligible to do the beat test to start with, so I didn't have to do it. But there was boys getting 14 and 15 in that, and this was before pre-season. Back home, there's guys like I'll get 11, 12, and again they'll start in the season. Yeah. So I was kind of looking at the difference straight away, and I was like, right. And then the first training session was out on the field. It's actually just. Out there, uh, the field was it was kind of a good field to play. And it was it wasn't perfect, but it was kind of, because it was hard that it was kind of sun and the wee bit of the wee bit of rain on it, and that was perfect. And uh, they had the balls out to start with, we passing the ball, and it was like with a circuit, it was like a lap of the park. And uh, between every circuit, you had to do a lap of the park in under a minute thirty seconds, I think right. it was. <laughs> and it was about eight stations. You done a few laps, and uh, but like I say, it was fun. It was it was a different experience, like. I'm normally in my element when it comes to like people just looking at you at training and that like sure. getting impressed like that because I was a big fat guy but over here I was I wasn't where I thought I would have been. Like I was I was maybe breaking We just spoke off camera um, and you were telling us that uh, a lot of the guys back home perceive the Americans to oh. be weaker at football than oh, what we are definitely. and you were just saying that um, it was different to what you thought it was. I, was that a step up standard? Ah uh, definitely. Like the guys who back home that like, even even players like average players back home are saying and oh, you're going to play against Americans and you're going to be a superstar in that and it's the furthest thing for the truth like there's yeah. like for instance probably arguably one of your better players is American and he's the most versatile player I've seen in my life mm -hmm. plays right foot left foot and it doesn't matter to him like you were at the game last night eh, we won 3-2 in overtime and he scored the winner he was, he was arguably weaker foot yeah that was but a cracking was, strike right in the top corner uh, you, you don't see it then but it just shows you like the whole thing about Americans not being as good as Scottish players and that have got another thing coming. Yeah, and the is starting to take off as well. Yeah. You're in a, a, a team that's a winning programme. I mean, they, they went unbeaten all the way through last season. Yeah. I think they won every single game. They got to the national final, final yeah. uh, got beaten the final. Mm. And then they've more or less from there carried on with the lift off last season. And it's it's tough for freshman students to try and break into the team. Can you tell us a bit about that experience as well? Because I know you've found it harder than I you think. probably thought it was to break into the side. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, like back home, obviously to start with was the squad. The squad size is completely different. Like, um, back home, as you've got maybe got 60, 70 players max mm -hmm. in a squad, so you're kind of always making a bench, or you know what I mean. Yep. You're making a bench. You're gonna you're, nine times out of ten you're gonna play if you're at that standard. The rest mm -hmm. of the players, but 
over here, like for instance, we, we've got enough boys to create two teams and have subs and have mm -hmm. six or seven subs at the end of the park. Yeah. So to even try and break into the first team squad, with 20, maybe 22, 23 players. That's hard for sure. yourself. And you've managed that, in yeah, fairness. You know, you've made the top sort of 15, yeah. 16, and you've yeah. probably found game time a little bit limited. But yeah. when you've come on, have you been quite happy with yeah, how you've done? Like I've been, like to be fair, like, like you said, game time has been a bit limited. But when I've got on, like, I've just tried to try and prove myself. And to be fair, I've not really done myself justice yet. Like, I've, like we, we spoke off camera, and you're saying, like, I was kind of over analysing what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, like, that's not my game. I'm more of a, a reaction player than a, you know what I mean? So I was kind of like, for me, I just had to kind of relax a bit. Sure. What were the different styles of play? I mean, obviously, Scotland back it's home, flat everyone's flat. Scottish, they, they yeah. tend to play the same way. Um, yeah. Out here, you've got, as you mentioned, you've got boys from what? Oh, Australia, from, Johannesburg, yeah, Paraguay, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Boys from everywhere. It's, it's, it's fun, like, it's funny this is, like, when we're, like, even after training, a lot of the guys would normally stay out. Yeah. And we practice things like set places and things like that. But we normally have like fun, like five v five, and just have fun. Yeah. And to be fair, the skill levels ridiculous for some of the guys. Yeah. Like even with for instance, talking about American guy again, um, a boy Colton Tanner. Uh, he plays. He's in the squad. He's a real good player. He plays with both feet as well, and he's he's so fluent. It's unreal. And yeah. We've got the guy uh, Juan Coker. He plays. Uh, Plays right side, he's actually ineligible this year. Sure. But uh, he's just ridiculous. How would some of the American stuff. kids, if you think about it, how would they get on black home? Um, Personally, the boys, I've okay? seen, the boys that I've seen here would be top standard black home. Yeah. Definitely. Well, compared to the boys I've played black home, the American guys are fitter. They're definitely fitter. They can sure. play in hotter situations. So the heat, like your summer, well, you can call it summer, but <laughs> <laughs> the time when it's not raining back home, like, the American boys would be fine, they'd, they'd adapt, yeah. they'd, they'd probably suffer more in the winter and I don't sure. know how they'd get on with a longer season because the season here is obviously shorter, yeah. it's like quick bursts but skill level and like pound for pound with technique, the, the guys are just as good if not better here. Yeah. Better now, you were offered a pro contract at East Fife, yeah. um, so you were at a, a good level back yeah. home as well and uh, you know, if you were to you know, take your team here, oh, back out, would you fancy your chances? <laughs> different style uh, of football. Different style of football, to be fair. Um, I like my time at East Fife, I loved my time at East Fife. Um, yeah. It was good, the manager was brilliant, the boys, the players were brilliant. But physically, I don't think we would, like, as, sorry, as being here in Notre Dame, physically we yeah. wouldn't compete with teams back home. Teams sure. are like so much more physical, I found that quite, not that quite quick, sorry. Sure. And, um, but again, technically, there's not much in it. Have you found the, the facilities, the stadiums and things oh, like that has it been? Some of it's just ridiculous. There was an indoor stadium, uh, so, sorry I can't remember the name of it, that we were at last week and that was just the best thing I've seen in my life. I was in that and um, I've got the air conditioning on, I've got the big tellies up on the wall and everything like that when we walk in and it was just ridiculous. It was, it was really nice. I've never played in an indoor stadium yeah. like in a full like, on the side sure. game. So that was a bit different to kind of see what was going on and try and take it all in and I would look like a proper tourist everywhere, <laughs> I was looking everywhere, looking about. But you were talking about that, you were on the yellow bus as well? I was on the yellow bus day the <laughs> session. Yeah. On the yellow bus? The manager, the manager was laughing, he, he had to get his camera out and video me because he says I was just like, every time I was sitting I was looking at the windows and playing.